Thank you, Honourable President. We are now, can you take your seat, Honourable Godsell? Thank you. We are now moving to the next follow-up uh, question, which is asked by DA through Honourable Godsell. Over to you. Honourable President. Honourable President. Can we allow him to ask the question? Yes. Good Indeed. afternoon. I, I, I am at your mercy, Honourable Chairperson. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Mr. President, you actually took most of my question by repeating the promise you made to the people of South Africa on the 18th of July, and you partially repeated it for the, um, for the lady in the back there. But I would like, with your permission, to just highlight the third priority, and that is the promise of a capable, ethical, and developmental state. So if you and your government, you and your government, are then still committed to these priorities, my question to you is, why is it that Minister Tembi Simolani is still in your cabinet as the Minister of Justice. Honourable President. Thank you, Honourable Chairperson. You will know, of course, Honourable Gotzel, that as soon as the story around herself uh, arose, I asked for a, a report. A report that will outline precisely what the actual situation is. She has just submitted the report to me with all the, uh, the documents and the attachment, which I am now studying. And I have said publicly that I'd like time and space to look at this, to examine all this, and uh, be able to see how we take this matter forward. So we embark on various processes, and I think all organizations and all entities do embark on processes. So I'd like you as well, Honorable Kotzel, to allow this process to ensue. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable President. The next follow-up question is asked by UDM, Honorable Peter. Uh, Manbulis, uh, as Honorable Speaker of the NCOP, Mamum Tsipan, uh, Honorable President of the Republic of South Africa, Molo President. Molo Nagu. My President, my, my question is so simple. It's just for the clarification of the GNU. President today, so that to make things simple. Yes, even it's close. Oh, same Thank you, President. Thank you, President. In the case where parties in the government of national unity are unable to reach consensus regarding the implementation of the basic minimum program of priorities contained on the statement of the intent for 2024 GNU. Should the matter be taken to consultation council for mediation? Whether the council decision would be binding or, or taken as a, a recommendation by members of the GNU. The reason why President we're asking is because we don't understand the actual gathering of this GNU because the same people we, as the same people that were in this genre, were still challenging you, President, meaning we don't understand what we're in for. Thank you, President. Honorable President. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable Chairperson. We have sought to explain over and over what the government of national unity is really all about. 
It's about executing the mandate of South Africans. The South African people did not give a single party an outright majority to set up government on its own. So that having been done by South Africans, it required that we should all put our heads together and say, how do we take this country forward? And in doing so, the 10 parties got together and said, we should work together as the people of South Africa have determined and decided and form a government of national unity. Since no single party achieved a 50 plus one majority on its own. So it requires that there should be a measure of cooperation. The statement of intent was then drafted, which I should say, having been drafted, a number of parties were then consulted. Nearly all parties were consulted that are represented in our parliament. In the end, 10 said very clearly, we subscribe to these principles that are set out in the statement of intent and we are therefore committed and determined to work together, to work together collectively as the 10 parties, and those 10 parties having agreed to do so, I then had the opportunity, having been elected the president of the republic by this parliament, to then pick or appoint a cabinet, a cabinet that is made up of the majority of those parties and some are represented in our, nation, uh, in our uh, parliament. And those members of the executive, including those who are in our parliament, uh, having signed to the, state, um, the statement of intent, have set out a clear program of where South Africa should go on the mandate of the people of South Africa. And of course, as I said earlier, we're all from different parties, parties that have different manifestos, parties that have different or adhere to different ideologies. But what unites us is the statement of intent and this statement of intent having united us all, we also inserted the governance processes that will govern our relationship. In case there are any areas of difference or disputes. Last night when we met, we decided that in ensuring that we enhance good working relationships, we will have what we call a processing team, a team that will process whatever needs to be addressed by the leaders of all the political parties. So that processing team will identify those issues that we need to discuss and say resolve from time to time. And embedded in the statement of intent, of course, we did say, if there ever was an area of difference, and let me put it up front, that of course, because we come from different political parties, there'll always be differences, as there are differences in any relationship, whether it's between friends, between uh, you know, partners in a marriage, or in an organization, in a company, or even here in parliament, all over. So there will always be people who see things differently. We therefore need to find ways of resolving those. Now, I don't work on the basis that, you know, we are going to differ to a point of even parting ways. I've often worked on the basis of what Nelson Mandela taught us, that for every problem there is a solution. And so you try to find the solution. And so we underpin our uh, working together, and we confirmed this yesterday, that we will find solutions to whatever problems that may arise, because problems will arise, and we should never kid ourselves and think that we will not have challenges and problems. So we will find problems 
So how will we take them? To arbitration or mediation? No, we will engage amongst ourselves. We will find each other, and of course, we have set up a system that has been tried and tested in solving problems, sufficient consensus. But for me, sufficient consensus means that we build consensus amongst all of us. So we build consensus, we convince one another, and find solutions for the problems that we may have. And that is the way that the government of national unity will proceed forward. So that is why I continue saying to our people, support this process that you, as the people of South Africa, decided we should have through the vote outcome that you, 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 you landed us with. So we are here because the people of South Africa, through their votes, delivered this outcome, and we must make it work. So last night we said we're going to make this work, and we will, as we face challenges, find solutions, as you will see as time goes on. Uh, from tomorrow onwards, you'll find how we find solutions, or you'll see how we find solutions to continue with this government of national unity. Thank you.